Hi everyone, welcome to our floss tube. We are Lost Our Needles and I am Amy. I'm Allie. It's nice to see you again. It's been two weeks, two and a half weeks. Yeah, two and a half. We're trying to get back so, on that three week schedule. It's probably gonna be a shorter video. Um, life has been busy on this side of town and um, haven't had a lot of stitching time. But um, anyway, we just wanted to reach out and show you what we have been up to and see how you all are doing and uh, yeah. If you're new, welcome. Thank yes. you for uh, putting up with two crazy ladies and checking us out, actually. And then if you're returning, thank you for returning to the crazy ladies yes. and um, coming back. We're glad you're here. Um, yeah. Happy April. Happy April. I can't believe it's almost halfway through April already. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, I hope you all had a nice Easter. I know we did. We went to church and served a few services and then uh, went to a service. Easter was actually a rainy cold day here in the Phoenix area and um, a lot of Easter egg hunts I think got kiboshed or had to be moved inside which is sad but mm -hmm. we need the rain so we won't say no to it so and it made for a lovely day. We've gotten more rain in the last couple months than we got in the entire monsoon season and yet every time it sprinkles mom's like oh we need the rain. <laughs> we'll always need the rain because who knows when it'll rain again? It's become a joke now. Yes, it's my thing. They'll put on my grave. We need the rain. <laughs> long, long time from now, but yes. Hopefully. God um, willing. So what have you been up to? Um, well, I think since the last time we videoed, I had some company here mm -hmm. and um, good friends of my husband and I's and spent some time in Sedona with them. And then... Um, we were going, we went to the air show mm -hmm. on Sunday. I think we filmed on Saturday. Yeah. And the next day after filming the last time, we went to the um, the Luke Air Force, Air Luke Force Days. Base, Luke Day's air show. Um, my friends that were visiting here, his roommate in college, their son, I know it's complicated. Anyway, their son uh, flies with the Thunderbirds. He was p pilot number four, um, in case anybody was there. And we were graciously invited to the Thunderbird tent to watch the air show from the Thunderbird tent. <clears throat> and it was a really good air show. It's the first time Luke Days has happened in six years. Eight. Eight. No, it's been six. Since okay. 18. 18. Oh. Um, just between, they only yeah. do the show every other year and then COVID hit. So anyway, it's been six years and it was packed and the pilots were awesome. Um, even got to see an A-10 demonstration, which is the last plane my husband flew on uh, in the military. And um, the F-16 pilot, the F-35 pilot, and the A-10 pilots that were doing the demos were all females. So that was really kind of cool. Um, yeah, it was a really good, really good air show. We enjoyed that a lot. And then um, just this past week, I got my house painted. I, the house is only six years old, but you know, builder paint. Um, they water it down a lot. It's cheap paint to begin with, and it was really starting to look tacky and worn out, especially in the part, the front part, and the west-facing side of the house that gets so beat up in the summer. Um, so that got repainted, and it just looks so nice and so fresh again. And turn around the corner and see your house, and at first I'm like. <laughs> Whoa, but yeah. it looks lovely. It's just very different than what they yeah, had. Yeah, I changed my colors. It was a goldy yellow and tans and have not you heard from the H HOA no, yet. Shh, don't say anything. Um, um, no, but I did. A friend of mine kind of drove by the house and then was halfway down to the next house and went, "Oh wait, that is her house," and back, had to back up. So. It is different, but it fits in the neighborhood beautifully, and I'm very, very happy with the job the painter did. And um, looks lovely. I would highly recommend the guy that did it. But other than that, and then I just I I have to say, when I watch you guys on Instagram and YouTube, I'm just so blown away by how much stitching you all get done. Um, it seems like you're always finishing a new project. You've got three or four you're finishing up on your YouTubes, your floss tubes. And I I must be a very slow stitcher or I'm busier at home than I think because I am pokey. I have been working on the same projects for I think a couple months now. So No, your your flag is, is yeah, like a week or two, a couple on, weeks. No, that's been a while. Anyway, I, I'm just impressed by how you all get so much done and 
Um, it's fun to see. I just am not that prolific of a stitch stitcher, apparently. And maybe it's because I spend more time ripping stuff out than I am stitching. That's probably my story problem. of my week. Yeah, yeah, that's probably been my problem. So what have you been up to? Well, I mean, I know, but tell them. School started back since I last saw you. Spring uh, break is over. Yeah, and it has been crazy. Um, signed up. I'm going to be reading a P test this summer uh, for the U.S. history test. So I had to get through all that, which led to a whole debacle. Um, so when my grandparents, her parents passed away, mom offered me their like fireproof lockbox that's like the size of a briefcase. And I was like, yes, that sounds smart. I'll put my important life documents in there. And I remember putting the key somewhere that was kind of obvious, but not with my other keys, just, just in case. So a random breaker in her couldn't break in and steal the keys and get her, steal her identity. So that was probably like two years ago and I finally needed my documents again. I have no idea where that key is. Like I'm tossing <laughs> my house. I have to get to school early for a meeting. I'm like tossing my house. I can't find it. So I call a locksmith or I message, it was ACT day. So I'm like trying to get this scheduled and they're like, yeah, the service person will call you and like give you the quote, whatever. They don't, but they're scheduled. And so they're 20 minutes out and they're like, oh, it'll be between $130 and $250. I'm like, that's a lot of money. Um, but I need to get to my, uh, my stuff. Like I have a three day turnaround for to get these documents yeah, submitted. I need my social security card. I need my passport. <sighs> and so the guy gets there. He, t I swear the box is like, it's a shoe box. Yeah. He's like, Oh, that's a big one. It's going to be 270. Um, and at this point he's at my house. I need the document. So I'm just like, okay, fine. Just, just do it. But so he does it and like he puts a couple things of metal in the lock and like wiggles it trying to save my lock box. And I'm telling the story to my kids the next day and they're like, that's not how you pick a lock. <laughs> um, and I was like, it didn't think so. Like it looked subpar. Kind of sketchy um, actually. So after like two minutes of that, maybe that's probably pushing it. He says, oh yeah, I'm just going to have to break it open. And I kind of expected that. So it wasn't a big deal. So he just takes a crowbar. And within five minutes, he has this thing open, like five minutes total, including trying to pick the lock and the crowbar, $270. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, okay. So I pay him, I leave like a review on, he gives me his card, so I, I leave a review for his company. And then he starts calling me and he's haranguing me. Because she, she did not give him a five star. Yeah, that it's not my company and the, the company that sent me out here is the one that sets the prices and blah. I, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling like verbally abused. So like my call drops, I he hangs up, whatever. And he keeps trying to call me back and I deny the calls. And he's like, will you call me back? And I was like, no, because you're yelling at me. Um. So long story short, I should have just taken $50 and a crowbar to school with the lockbox and said, like, I teach juniors. They would have had a blast with it. Just said, 50 bucks to the first person that can get this open, here's a crowbar. You would have started a fight, though, trying to get it open. Probably, but they would have been, had fun with it. It would have been much more entertaining. And it would have been cheaper. So yeah, yeah, long story cheaper. short, don't use lockboxes or at least don't hide your keys. You put your keys in a um, easier place to remember. But other than that, it's been testing, so that's been crazy. Um, I'm the department chair at my school, so just helping cover other people and get everybody taken care of. And um, my cousin, her niece, had a we helped with a bridal shower this weekend. Um, it was really fun. I was in charge of games, so we did a pass the bouquet. And it's like you have a bouquet of flowers, and you essentially play hot potato with it. And when the music stops, the person that has the bouquet is out. It got down to the last two or three. It became a volleyball match. They're just like hitting it oh at each gosh. other. Oh my gosh, they're not even holding the bouquet. And they're just. Oh my gosh, it was hysterical. Flower, it, the flowers became like potpourri around the table that they were playing Petals around. Petals are like, flying everywhere. The bride, my aunt who was hosting, everyone was like in tears laughing. So we, that was a lot of fun. We were laughing so hard and it. It was the funnest game of the... They had some fun games, but this one, watching those girls destroy this bouquet. So if you're hosting a, or throwing a bridal shower, pass the bouquet. It and was fun. And buy a cheap bouquet. <laughs> yeah. 
but get a real bouquet because it would have been less fun if like you got a plastic bouquet yeah. and it didn't fall apart yeah so anyway so it's been new and not a lot of stitching a lot of uh coming school home from school and, and just being tired and busy and you're getting allergies too so that doesn't yeah. make you feel real great gives gives her a little bit of a headache so it's hard to stitch when you have a headache and... yeah fourth quarter's become my headache season yeah um and then just early morning gyms keep me having to go to bed early so yep long stories but thank you like they're just it was an entertaining couple of weeks it, the two weeks flew by I, we've been back in school for three weeks now and you've got about another weeks. five weeks to go five six weeks to go yeah six or seven i think there's like 31 days left of school okay so all right yeah um so what have you been stitching on well, I'm still stitching, like I said, the same two things I've been stitching, I think, since I got back from my trip. Um, so I've made some decent progress on um, my poltergeist. I know you guys are probably getting bored seeing the same stuff all the time, but sorry, that's all I've been doing. I work on this on the weekends, um, but I have made some good progress. I'm really thrilled. Um, the mast is coming along. Um, the ghost is in. The, I'm starting to do one of the thousand um, torn um, sails, and uh, but I'm really liking the look of it. It's coming along nice. The colors are all neat, and it's um, beautiful. It's just really nice. I'm really thrilled with it. <clears throat> um, so, and I'm using the called for fabric, all the called for. Um, Flosses, and I know Joy, the Carolina Stitcher, is working on it too, and I'd be interested to see how, how she's coming along with that, because she's the one that in, I think I saw it the first time was from her, and uh, I haven't touched the uh, pumpkin. I'm kind of I stitched on, yeah, my Zuka. I haven't been stitching on that, kind of waiting to get another project done, and then I'm still working on the um, Sweet Wing Studios forever in peace the americana flag that is really i'm enjoying stitching on it immensely and i've only got oh, let's see um i just got three more rows at the bottom of the flag to do in the rest of the words and then i'll be finished so maybe by the next time we film i'll have at least a finish if not an fully finished object. Have you thought about how you want to finish that one? Um, I think I'm going to put it on some kind of, so that I can display it up there all summer long. I like that. Um, kind of a panel, a paddle. Uh, I'll find something that's the right size. Um, I just, I'd like to have it up all summer Maybe long. Maybe like a summery like drink tray. I have a, well not a drink tray, but I have something. But I want to be able to fit it up there. There's not a ton of room. Or you know there. what that means. Trip to Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Or a trip to Chantel's 141 online shop and see what they have. That too. So we are having a Hobby Lobby open here. I think they said the end of May. So we won't have to drive a half an hour to get to one. Yeah. So we're really, really excited. It'll be up between me and work. So yeah, that means I'll get to drive by it. That could be dangerous. But, um, so we're getting one in town and that'll be pretty exciting. Um, anyway, so that's really all I've been stitching on. I, I'm kind of getting in the mood to get back into my... Um, rubber stamping too, my mm -hmm. making cards again a little bit, but my craft room has become such a crazy thing. I've been in there. Maybe that's partly why I've not been stitching as much. I've been trying to get that thinned out, purged, clean, tidied. Um, but uh, I've missed it, and I'm. I, it's like I want to stitch, but I'm kind of getting the. Did you the take a itch. picture of the card you made for Kelly's bridal shower? Oh, oh my gosh, she made the cutest card for my cousin. Um, I wish we could have inserted it. Like that would have been pretty. Yeah, because she's talented. She just she'll be the first person to say she's not, but she is. I just copy what other people do nicely. That's all. Um, and speaking of your Zuka, one of our uh, people that tagged us and mentioned us was a uh, Rose from Untwist Your Stitches. She's doing the Zuka. Oh, yeah. And she's like, if yours is like water, hers is like fire. She it said is. it was like terracotta. But if you guys go and watch her, she's doing the Zuka on... She's. It, I don't think she said the color didn't come across on the camera, but the, from the camera, it looked like it was like this red fabric. Ready, orangey um, fabric, yeah. So it was just like very yeah. much like a contrast to That's, yours. Of yes. Yours is water, hers is fire. Mine is very cool, hers is very warm. That's yeah. a beautiful way to put it. Mine's water. It was cool to see the surf difference. Surf beach, and hers is 
Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a good description of the comparison of the two of them. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, so anyway, if you guys are curious on like the fire version of Zuka, <laughs> uh, go check out Rose from Untwist Your Stitches. Um, what have you been working on? So I have one that you guys saw last time and I added more to it and then a couple new starts. So this is All American by Primrose Cottage. I did not bring the pattern this time. But what I did was I mostly focused on like getting down here to the bottom because I had like a whole uh, fat quarter of fabric and it was just like sitting in my lap and it was cramping my hands to hold it all because I stitch in hand. So I was like, all right, let's figure out where this goes. So I focused, I got some of the buildings and I think I finished the letters. I can't remember where I was at, but I mostly focused on here. Um, I didn't get that. <laughs> Siri really wants to be a teacher. She interrupts my class probably three to five times a week. Oh my goodness. Um, and it's usually, sorry, I didn't get that. Can you repeat? And my students will just start laughing with me. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. I used all the called for colors. I used the called for fabric. I'm really liking it. I'm hoping to get it done by Memorial Day. It's going to be really cute. Um, and then Makes I'm excited about it. this one. So I know they were doing, they were doing a mom's day stitch along, but Primrose Cottage came out with their spring Quaker and, and they're doing a stitch along with her mom. Yes. Right. So I'm not following along with the stitch along, but mom bought us the pattern and the finishing kit. Um, and so I'm stitching that with the called for floss. But I'm using my um, fabric for, that I would have shown on last show's haul. Yes. From um, Forbidden Fiber Co. It was their um, Lucky from March. So I'm doing the green fabric with the purple. And it's a floss. perfect spring combination. Oh, Allie, so that's just... I'm kind of loving how it's. I didn't do a ton. I want again. I wanted to get the size so I could cut it down. Um. It's a little bit bigger than the last uh, Quaker we did. That's because your thread count's a little bigger too. Yeah, but I'm, I'm. <coughs> it's smaller. fun. It looks very springy, and I love that I'm actually using the fabric in the yeah. month. And it's a perfect combination. It truly so, looks yeah. spring. It reminds me of irises blooming in Michigan in the yeah. spring. It looks very like April Eastery, yeah. and it makes me happy. I actually started it Easter weekend. Yep. Um, so that was fun. I wasn't quite sure. Sometimes purple and green look a little Halloween-y and I didn't want spring to be spooky. You're not using the strong yeah. purples and greens. Um, but then I was thinking with this cool green fabric, um, Crafty Blue Bonnets, um, St. Patrick's Day Spool with like the shamrocks coming off of it. Yes. And it says like lucky. Yes. I thought that would be really, I actually have like a side fabric that I cut off to the like the left of the pattern. It'd be perfect um, on this. I figured I, it's a perfect little yeah. size. I might do that next year. But, and then my last new start, I'm excited about this one too. I think I talked to you guys about it. I had it all planned out and like kitted up last time. Um, but I know it's Glitter Dove. I want to say Glitter Dove Fairy. Um, that might be wrong. I'm sorry. Um, we'll but she's on Instagram. She left a comment that her and Stitching by the Shore... I, I know it's not Sarah because that was an alliteration and I got that one wrong when I was explaining it to you. Laura, I think it's Laura from Stitching by the Shore. She was starting, they were starting a stitch along and invited me along to join in their stitch along for um, Current Mood, which was the rainy day pattern from the 2024 spring Just Cross Stitch magazine. Yep. And so I talked to you guys in the last video about how I'm kind of... Um, I'm just doing all my own colors. Like this is the most I've deviated from a pattern. I uh, yeah, and I like the so, colors that you've chosen. This is what I have. So the pattern was just on white fabric with a lot of colorful uh, rain. So this is gonna be the umbrella right here, and I changed the umbrella from black and this gr like silver. It's almost white, but it's not um, to red. And then instead of colorful rain, all the rain is just gonna be in that metallic. Silver. Silver. And then the the girl, the woman is still going to be in like the black and this like white. Although I might go darker in her silhouette so it stays a silhouette. 
Um, and then I'll put some like green grass down here. You could even, if you um, wanted to, redo that and put black in there as the shadow. Because that's really what it is. Or a highlight. Yeah. Either way. I'm seeing it as like a highlight of okay. like light <clears throat> yeah. reflecting off the rain. So I'm really excited about this. If you guys want to join along, um, Sarah by the Shore is hosting it. So you can go hers. But this hashtag is April. No, I'm sorry. Spring Showers Sal. So I'll put that hashtag down there. Um, it's on Instagram, and it's been cool to see what different people are doing. Everybody's um, doing it a little bit differently. I'm they? really enjoying stitch alongs. I will say, this was a story. I'm a slow stitcher. I'm not that slow of a stitcher. So I started it, we started it April 2nd. And so I was like, April 2nd, I'm starting this. I got a good portion of the umbrella done. I even sent my mom a picture. Yep. And then I bring it over Friday night where we have dinner. Yeah. And I realized that for like two or three stitches in like two or three rows, I had instead of like over like two over two over two, I did like two over three. Where it was like I skipped two holes instead of the one. Oh gosh. And so I had like two or three stitches in each row that were too long. And at first I was just gonna be like, no one's gonna notice. And then the longer I looked at it the longer I noticed. And so I got see. some like bad news from work on Friday. So I'm sitting there drinking like my whiskey and Sprite and I'm sitting at mom's counter pretty much right here. And I'm literally just cutting and tearing cause I had to take the whole umbrella out. So all the red doesn't which, look like you got that much done, but between your ripping out all the red, I had to restitching. restitch yesterday. So that's like one day's work. So that was a, uh, and then just the last couple of weeks, I just haven't had a lot of time to stitch. I was hoping to have more to show you guys because I'm really excited about the stitch along. It doesn't look like it, but I yeah, am. I really like the silver too. Yeah. I think that's going to be such a lovely range. Yeah, it's kind of like a gunmetal almost. Yeah, it's or... not bright silver. It's a darker silver. Yeah, so. <clears throat> it's going to look really nice. And then Easter, we both took cross stitch to uh, serve during Easter because like we help with the new guests. So in between services, there's a lot to do, but during the services, the two that we are serving, there's not it's a lot really to do. A lot of downtime. Um, so we are stitching. I was working, I'm not, I didn't bring it to show you guys, but I was continuing to fill in my dragon um, from the fourth wing stitch just because it was something I can mindlessly do. Yeah, and you could drop easily if a new yeah. guest came up and needed help, directions, yeah. questions, whatever. So. so it's been nice, but it's been kind of, I was like looking at my calendar I followed, I didn't get the book of days like a lot of you guys, but I got a cheap dollar store calendar and I do track like what I'm stitching and like that's the wrong direction. We're not jumping time yet. Not um, yet. Too young to jump time. And like I'll highlight when we film floss tubes or new starts or finishes or things like that. So, um, is it? Kathy, I think it's two needles pulling thread. Kathy, is she the one that has like the sprocket where she prints out stickers? And so when she finishes it, she takes a picture of it and puts it in her book of days. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna lie. I want, I keep meaning to look on Amazon, but every time I think about it, I'm in the middle of a task. And then when I'm free, yeah. I forget to look it up. But I think that would be really cool, like have pictures. So like oh, at yeah. the end of the year, you have pictures of all your finishes where you don't have to go and pull them out. So, especially when you do something that's different than the pattern you use, yeah. like so, your current mood. Yeah. Okay. So I want to look into that. I think that would be fun. I think so too. But other than that, I had no finishes in March. Yeah. We're in April. Oh yeah. my goodness. You fourth te quarter teachers, you get it. Like time is flying. I don't know what day it is, what month it is. Um, I didn't have any, fin I had several starts. No finishes. Yeah, and so I don't have any finishes. Just my goal is to have. Honestly, I'd love to finish the current mood because once I sit down and stitch on it, I don't think it'll take that long. Um, and I'd really like to finish my Quaker yeah, this month. I really want to get my um, flag done but, before Memorial. I should be able to. I mean, yeah. I, I get a section done a night. So I need at least one finish in April. Only, yeah, I need a finish. Um, and I'm itching to start sewing some beach stuff. You know, toes yeah, in the sand kind of thing. But I, I, I really get, I have three projects going on. The flag, 
the poltergeist and the Zuka. And I have a hard enough time spreading myself through those. I The idea of starting something else, it would stress me out because I'm one I, of those that it. tends to want to finish what I'm working on. I have a hard time doing more than two or three yeah, I'm trying time. to push my level of, because I have these three that I showed you. I have my fourth wing in Darna. And then I have the ornament that I just haven't touched for a while. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I mean, I have several that I'm kitted up and ready to go. So yeah. that'll be fun. Um, but anyway, haul. And in case you didn't notice, we're watching, we're wearing matching t-shirts. But... It was not intentional. I've been wearing it all day. She walks in black t-shirt and it's like, well, I guess we're going to be twinsies in the video today. Yeah. I don't wear black a lot, but no, um, you today don't. I did. And I'm the one that wears too black. Funny. Yeah. It's too uh, funny. I love my bright colors, but today I was feeling it. So, okay. What now? Me. Um, haul. Okay. You have haul. I do not. This okay. Time. Well, haul will be really simple. I don't have a lot of haul. So, excuse me. I gotta put my glasses. And, so I subscribe to the Farmer's Attic. I think I've told you their Farmer's Attic, their fabric of the month. I get a half, half, a fat half every month. So a couple weeks ago, right after I think we filmed the last show, um, this showed up. It's in its Atomic Ranch, 32 count linen. Um, it's a fat half and it's called Golden Harvest. I'm gonna take it out of the bag though. Um, Cause the plastic just reflects way too much. <laughs> Also, while she's opening the plastic and just trying to distract you, um, we do owe you an apology. Um, a couple of people mentioned how it was super distracting that we had tapping in our last video. Yes. Um, story behind that, there was crafting going on behind the scenes. Um, my sister, who's made the cups that we were talking about, um, she was actually working on a cup while we were filming and she was trying to be super quiet, but she, what you guys heard was she was using one of the like click lighters to set paper on fire. And then tap, trying to quietly, we didn't realize the camera picked it up, yes. so we're sorry. But she was then tapping it on the counter to put out the flame so that she made a cup that's like just uh, just one more chapter for a friend of ours. So she was lighting paper on fire. And so some of you were like, oh, you could tell even you were distracted by it. I was like, yeah, she's lighting things on fire. <laughs> um, so I apologize for those of you that were super distracted um, or it was like hard to listen to. Um, usually we film on Wednesday nights and she has Bible study on Wednesday nights, so normally she's not in the background. Yeah. Um, but that was the story behind it. Yes. And I didn't think the camera picked it up, so we learned that the camera picks up a lot more than we thought. A lot more than we think. But the cup turned out absolutely gorgeous. It makes the paper look all antique -y, and she laid a bunch of it down over the cup, and then it just turned out beautiful. It's a beautiful book cup. We have uh, Fourth Wing fans on the channel, Mom. I'm gonna go grab her fourth wing cup. It's right there. Oh, I think okay. you guys are yeah, gonna love yeah, it. So yeah. you show the fabric, okay. I'll grab the cup. So in the meantime, so back to Farmer's Attic, uh, their fabric of, this is called Golden Harvest. And it is stunning. It is going to make, I don't, this doesn't even show that, maybe that's it. Um, it's just a beautiful gold. It's not too brown. It's not too green. It's not too blue. It's going to make up some beautiful fall. It's going to make some beautiful fall projects. And I love, I use a lot of gold and yellow when I decorate for fall. It also make house. a really cool like teal pumpkin something. If you turn, there's so many pumpkin patterns you have. Yeah. Use, like teal yeah. on there. Well, it, it's just going to be a beautiful yeah. fall fabric. And then um, you guys, have, it, for those of you that do subscribe, our uh, Cross Stitch Magazine, the new episode came today. The new issue came today. There's a couple patterns in there I really like. Um, there's a lot of uh, 4th of July Americana kind of stuff that's in there. Um, Enjoy. Anyway, so we don't want to spoil it. There's a, yeah, there's, there's some fun stuff in there. And then I wish I'd written down, I was scrolling through Instagram earlier in the week. No, it had to have been the weekend. Anyway, somebody popped up that they, a new cross-stitch designer, at least new to me, and I think if I remember correctly, she is still fairly new. Um, they had just finished her pattern and it's Seasonal Courier Robin's Spring by Robin Pickens, cross-stitch patterns. And they're my colors. I mean, she just, 
anyway, so somebody had was in the process of almost finished or was finished, and I just slipped, pardon me, the colors in there, the teals, the corals, or just the colorful. Really cute. Yeah, and it just reminds me back up in Michigan in the Midwest. We don't get them down here, but in the Midwest this time of year, the robins are all coming back, and we yeah, and the tulips would be blooming, and the robins would be flying back up north, and our yard would just be. There'd be times when you could see twenty or thirty robins going for those uh, wormies in the ground. So that just reminded me of home. And then the other one that somebody else was, or maybe when I was scrolling through her website. I saw this one too. It's about the Blue Jays. It's Seasonal Courier Blue Jay Summer. And again, beautiful colors that I absolutely love. So I had to get those two patterns. And I'm not sure when I'll get them done or started. But um, she's a beautiful designer. She's a quilter first. And then she's just recently starting to put her quilting ideas into cross stitch, if I remember correctly. And they're translating beautifully. And the colors are just bright, cheerful right up my alley of what I kind of enjoy. So that's been my haul and yes. stuff. So I haven't done a lot, just I've been busy trying to get my house organized. It's yeah. spring and, you know, patios need to be washed, doors need to be washed, getting the house painted, weeds need fixing to be things, we weeds. Yeah, we've had so much rain. The weeds are insane this year. Yeah. Getting, you know, the companies that are supposed to be doing their stuff for me out here, getting them done and... Yeah. My backyard looks like a jungle. Yeah. It's what just are a those? Lot of work. Oh, and this came with the farmer's attic um, floss. It was like a little thanks for subscribing. They're just floss bobbin rings, but they're the screw oh. kind. Um, so, oh, okay. but they're bright, bright, cute colors. So, anyway, okay. that came with the fabric. So, that's Lovely. that's all my not done a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, this isn't haul, but bragging on our, my sis, my daughter, her yeah. sister. So, Baskayak is like the setting of Fourth Wing. It's like a war college. And then the lightning bolts go with the story. If you know, you know. If you don't, you should read the books and find out. <laughs> um, but this is her old Stanley. And she just was like, I'm going to do this with my Stanley. She was bored um, with the color of the Stanley. Didn't like it anymore. Yeah. So, she uh, made this. And it's gorgeous. Like, the sparkle... Honestly, the like the having the ring light behind our camera is taking away some of the sparkle that comes with this. Yeah, like, put it, it out just, in the sun; it's gorgeous. It's almost it's blinding. It's gorgeous. It is. Yeah. And everybody that's a fourth week fan, we she's taken it a couple places, and people have stopped her that are fourth wing yeah. fans. And at the bridal shower, she had it, and a couple of her our my nieces. Um, our fourth wing fans as well and so they were all Whoa! can you do can you do one like it but do this instead and yeah, yeah it was fun so, so um last thing yeah giveaway so two videos ago we announced winners for um the giveaway that celebrated 2,000 subscribers the winner it of 1,000 subscribers but Okay, 1,000. Math. It's all the She's same. She's not a math teacher. That's my That's younger Julie. daughter. That's Julie. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> the winner of Witchy Washy um, unfortunately never reached out to us. And so we are going to redo the giveaway for the people that commented. And we did, in fact, we get the stickers and you get the Witchy Washy and it's all... You get the stickers, they're buttons. Oh my gosh been a long day for <laughs> mom's got ya it's okay that's the name of our of our video today amy and the brain dead <laughs> anyway so we repicked for witchy washy from the video from the same video the gave away um and so um Tammy Callison, 3285, you are our new winner. I will tag you in the video. Please email us at lostourneedles at gmail.com and we will get that on the way to you as soon as we- Hear from you. Yeah. Um, and I'm thinking maybe we might have to do a new giveaway when we, we're getting close to 3,000. We are getting close so, to 3,000. Uh, anyway. 
Um, so you have you been watching any Flossie recently? I know you haven't had the TV on a lot. I haven't had the TV on a lot, just but I have watched some Floss Boston cousins. They just crack me up. Mm -hmm. They remind me I. I, when I was stationed in North Carolina, two of the nurses that I worked with, civilian nurses, were Southern ladies. Um, rough, to me at the time, being in my mid-20s, they seemed old, but they were probably younger than I am now. Um, but they would, they reminded me of the, the Floss Boss and Cousins reminded the two of them in the way they just play together, they sass each other, make fun of each other, um, and it just, it it just warms my heart. I love I love seeing their interaction, and so I've been watching them. And then um, I do like watching Chantel's One Forty One and Carrie. No, mm -hmm. um, Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily. Yeah, sorry. Her name's she, Carrie. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then there's a couple other ones that I watch too, but she's not the only one that's a little brain dead today. But. Um, yeah, and just seeing the, what everybody's doing and how much everybody gets done. I, it's just like, how do you guys maintain your home and, and still get all this cross-stitching done? I need to learn from you guys because I'm slow. I also really admire the people that like track. I know they have an app for it and stuff, but like track all their stitches. Yeah. I am not that per Like I would love to know like, oh, I got this many stitches done. But at the same time, like I feel like that would like steal the joy for me yeah still some um, of the relaxation out of it I it's think, one of for, those like me. trackers where i have a like a bullet journal and so people will track their mood and all these things and i have a friend that does that and i'm like i don't feel the need to track my stitching but i love hearing like wow you guys got a, like 287 stitches done today yeah um that's cool but yeah um, I also want to uh, thank uh, Silver Stitches for this shout out in her latest video. Um, I believe she's from Canada. And so her... That's not paper clicking. That's my daughter's cat saying, pay attention to me and pay attention to me now. Are you going to pop up here? His name is Midnight. He's yeah. obviously all black. When she was living down in uh, the Tucson area, my mom nicknamed him the Prince of Tucson. Because... But he's a sweetheart. So we're going to see if we're going to get him up here. Um, but uh, yeah, so like the I don't think maybe I think I got caught up on the Sassy Southern Stitchers. I love seeing them. Oh, together. I love those two, too. Um, pull, two Needles Pulling Thread. I was just watching them and Floss Boss and Cousin last, last night. Um, I watched I think I watched Carrie's new video. I Are any of you guys doing her um, project bags? Project, along. Yeah, it's not a full project <laughs> keeper, but it's like the project bag for April. I know she's talking about a couple, it's starting in a couple weeks. That seems really cool. I do not, I wish I had the time to do it. Yeah, I think I would lose my mind. It's not the time of year for you to be taking on anything um, more. But that was really cool. I don't know. I'm like, I feel like I can't remember what I watched since I've seen you. I think I was watching like the Sarah Stitchy place. I need to start writing it all down. Mm -hmm. Um, the Sable Stitchers, I think I, oh, I watched like, recently. See, I like them too. I like, yeah. I like where there's a lot of playful banter and yeah, I little, love how Sarah, little sarcasm. And, Sarah's Stitchy Spot, I love how she celebrates people's like finishes and firsts. And yes. That's really cool. Yeah. There are so many neat floss tubers Pam out there. Pam and stuff with Just Keep Stitching. They kind of do that. I love how they connect yeah. stitchers and... All that. And then uh, Stitch West for spring is happening this weekend. So any of you guys going to that, have fun. Yes, have fun. And hopefully you'll be back at the Stitch West in the fall where we get to meet you. I'm so excited. I'm all ready to geek out and fangirl and yeah. just meet people. And maybe y'all can teach me how to speed up my cross stitch. Oh, just probably still enjoy be. it. Well, and that's part of it. It's the evening time. I'm tired by the time I stop getting things done around here. We're definitely night stitchers. I, I would, I miss, not miss, that's the wrong. I would love to be like, some of you guys talk about being morning stitchers and getting to stitch in the morning light and everything. Oh, you don't, you, <laughs> you're a working gal. Yeah. And I, I just, I don't feel guilty when I stitch, but maintaining the house, not that it's hard to maintain, but it's like, I feel like I need to do the things before I can relax and do the fun. Um, so the washing, the ironing, getting the floors done, patios washed, 
things repaired that need to be, you know, like today I had to wash, yesterday I was washing all the patios, which takes several, couple yeah. hours by the time you wash all, anyway. I mean, you've you got Julie need that's a whirling that. dervish of, I feel like she's always getting stuff done. Yeah, and Julie just sits nonstop. So anyway, uh, it is what it is. I'm a slow stitcher. You all don't need to hear about all this because it's quite boring. Um, and you all know what it takes to keeping a house up. So anyway, uh, um, that's it. Enough said. Thanks for joining oh, us. Um, sorry for the brain dead. That, um, yeah, we're all, it's it's Wednesday. It's midweek. It's hump day. Hump day. Um, yeah, thanks for joining us. And hopefully, if we haven't scared you away, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> yes. And if you're from Phoenix, the area, Phoenix area, it is starting to warm up. We're going to hit 90s here tomorrow. So stay cool. Keep drinking your water. Keep drinking your water, stay cool, and just keep telling yourself the pools are heating up. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye.